Hello, hello, Stefan here. While America is going crazy over the eclipse, I thought I'd quickly show you how you can create a similar image from the comfort of your own PC or Mac. To start with, I just created an empty canvas. I set the background color to black. And then on top of that, we're gonna create our moon, just somewhere from the center, something like that. Then we just quickly center it so it's dead center in our canvas. Beautiful. I'll leave it at white right now so that we see what we're doing. But afterwards, of course, it will be black blocking out the sun. So now that we have this, we already have a path. You find this on the window path. And here we go. We have our path. We just double click this quickly so that we have a workable path. Now I go back to my layers, create a new layer underneath our moon let's name this nicely create a new layer and we call this flames since our path is selected all we have to do is go into filter render flame gives us a little bit of a warning depending on how large your file is and i have to warn you this filter can take a very long time if you set it to fine anyway Take a screenshot of those settings if you like, or you simply play around with it and say, okay. Now, depending on the file size, you might want to go and make a coffee, but nevertheless, here we go. We have our little flames, not too bad. Doesn't look very realistic, but it's a good start. So the next step is very simple. Blur, apply a little bit of radial blur, something like 10. So now that we've done that, we don't need our path anymore. And we go back to our layer. And now we just shrink this down a little bit. Something like that. Turn the moon black. Reduce this even more. Something like that. And then if you want to, you can create a little bit of an outer glow to your moon. Outer glow. We'll pick some beautiful little orangey color here. Set this to screen, something like that. And then you just have to dial in the size that you want, something like that. It might be a little bit too strong in terms of color. Take a little bit off and there you go. Now you can move your moon as you like and it can move through the frame. Now, at some point, if you now would go and animate this for a video or whatever, you would see that, of course, the inside doesn't look absolutely perfect. Now, if you really want to go that far, it's quite simple. You select the moon, you create a new layer, fill it with white, deselect, filter blur, Gaussian blur, something like that. Scale it down, put the moon on top, and now, you can move this a fair bit and it looks quite surprisingly real. There you go. Now, does this compensate for going and seeing this event? Of course not, but just a few little techniques that might help you with something else. Well, there you go. I hope, as always, this was a little bit helpful.